Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Edge Designs, and in today's video, we're going to talk about a Batman cowl. So, <clears throat> this is the cowl that we're going to be talking about today. This is called the, Ke uh, the Keaton Crisis Cowl by Evil Genius Studio. So, real quick about Evil Genius Studio. The guy is really, really cool. If you guys have ever heard of a comic book called Batman Noel, yeah, of course, everyone's heard about it. This particular artist is actually responsible for the look of Batman Noel. The art behind the book was inspired by this guy's original Batman cowl that he sculpted years ago. Um, You'll see up on screen, that cowl was sculpted before Batman Noel was even out. So this guy has literally inspired real Batman shit. So that's really cool. He's got a very specific style about him, and everything is hand sculpted. Um, the guy's name is Jeff Fowler, I believe, or Fowler, Jeff Fowler, Jeff Fowler. And he runs Evil Genius Studio, where he hand sculpts all these amazing freaking cowls and cosplay items just as a hobby. I believe he has a day job, and he's here in Canada as well. And I was following this piece since its conception. Um, as soon as he started sculpting it on a Keaton Life cast, I was hooked. I was really interested to see what he was going to do. And the inspiration behind this piece was... He started sculpting it the minute Michael Keaton was um, cast as Batman again. The minute that we were confirmed Michael Keaton, he started sculpting this before what we got was even revealed. So this piece over here is his take on what Batman could have looked like when he came back. This is ultimately what we got in the film, which I really, 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 really like. It didn't at first, but it's grown on me. This is a replica of the cowl that Michael Keaton actually wears in The Flash. Um, I believe it's referred to as the modern suit. This is a one-to-one -one scale replica of that. But this is what Evil Genius came up with. He thought if Keaton was to come back, what would he look like? And this is what came out of his brain. So... A real quick comparison of what we actually got and what evil genius was able to come up with just out of just out of his cranium as you can see like there's still a lot of Keaton in this sculpt but also you can definitely tell the Noel look as well which just drives home the fact that this guy helped like, create Batman Noel's iconic look. Really, really cool. So we'll get the official Keaton out of the way. You guys have already seen that on the channel. And today's video is going to be about this cowl here. As far as I'm aware, this is made of 40 shore urethane. I've seen videos where he makes it in different shores. But I believe this is just his standard three slush casts of 40 shore to get one finished cowl. Um, if you're looking for something that's a little easier to go on, I believe he does um, different blends of 30-30-40 uh, or 30-40-40. Um, depends on what you're really looking for. I like to display my cowls, so the 40 shore is great, and it still stretches, so I'm able to get it over my head. Uh, it's got a lot of dust on it. I don't know why it's got dust on it. I've just been sitting there. But this thing is pretty freaking incredible like like I said I was following this thing from when he first started sculpting it and I was really intrigued especially since it's an original design and it really does look like Michael Keaton like it definitely has some of that Keaton inspiration as you can see there it's got a scalloped finish and even though it's not exactly what we got there's a lot of stuff on here that ended up actually being in the film like these these little points coming straight out that actually ended up being on the real film cowl now he doesn't have like all the different scallops that Keaton does but he definitely has 
his own interpretation of the scallops. But it's really cool that even though this little bat thing here that he puts in the front, um, like he didn't intentionally put that there because he knew what the new cowl was going to look like. This was out before that was even revealed. Before we even saw Keaton in the cowl, he had already finished this thing. Um, so yeah, it's made of 40 shore urethane. The thickness on it is really, really, really good. The casting quality is one of the cleanest I've ever seen in a Batman cowl. Usually you have, um, usually you have like pooling and stuff. It's just inevitable when you're looking at Batman cowls. You can see there, there's like some pooling in the back. It's just, it just happens. But somehow he was able to ch achieve like the cleanest um, casting job that I've seen. The ears are foam filled. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. You should be able to see it. He fills them with foam so that they hold their shape and are still lightweight. Um, this thing was packaged incredibly well. I didn't do an unboxing because I was too excited to get it. Um, but it was packaged incredibly well. He stuffed it with bags and newspaper and it was wrapped in newspaper and it, it got here in one piece, holding its shape incredibly well. Um, no thin areas at all. Um, also, you guys might be able to see here, one thing that Jeff does to his cowls is any of the areas that might rip, he reinforces them with mesh and then backs them up with more urethane. So you can see here, there's some mesh there and some mesh right there on the scallops. And then also, I don't know if I can get this on camera, but there's also mesh inside the cheeks because that is where it's more prone to rip. When you're pulling it on your head, it's more prone to rip up this side and then your cowl's ruined. So he makes sure that he reinforces any areas that are high stress points. And if a casting comes out a little bit thin or something like that, he'll reinforce other areas that he doesn't feel um, are safe enough to go out to a consumer. So another really cool thing about Jeff was I've wanted this cowl forever. Um, I have a kid now, so my budget isn't as, isn't as crazy as it used to be. Um, he was able to help me out with a different payment for this. Um, he doesn't typically do it, but he was a really nice guy and he helped me get this piece. I was able to do payments with him, um, which I'm very thankful for. But yeah, guys, um, I believe this is the first on YouTube. I haven't seen any of Evil Genius's stuff on YouTube, so... I want to draw your guys' attention to him. Um, he's literally the creator of the look of Batman Noel. Um, I don't think he was credited, like he wasn't involved in actually making the book, but you look at Batman Noel next to his sculptures, which were already his style before Batman Noel came out, you can definitely see that Batman Noel is Jeff Fowler, or Jeff Fowler. I, I wish I knew how to pronounce his name. All right, also, this cowl <clears throat> fits me incredibly. It hugs my face. It pinches in all the right areas that it's supposed to. It's like it was made for me, and it's, that's something I've never been able to say about a cowl. I can say that a cowl fits great, or it's a little tight, or it fits the best out of the ones I've ever had. This feels like it was made for me. So I don't know if Jeff and I have similar head sizes, but it's almost like he sculpted it on my life cast, which it wasn't. It was sculpted on Keaton's, but it fits me incredibly, so. Just takes a little finagling to get on. Like, look at that. Also, you don't get the floating cowl syndrome. Like, it just sits on my shoulders, like, perfectly. And another plus is I could be bearded Batman. I don't know what it is about this particular sculpt, but it, like, I don't know. It's almost like it, it was made for a beard. Like, I don't look weird in the cowl having full facial hair and as you can see guys like it just 
and nothing pokes up. Like, the back doesn't stick out. It's sitting right at eye level. It doesn't move. But, like, I have, like, like, I don't know. It just, it fits me better than any other cowl. Like, this cowl here fits me great with a little bit of wiggle room. But this is like it was made for me. It's really weird. But, like, look at that. Nothing lifts, nothing looks out of place, and it's still, even though it's an original design, recognizable as Keaton. Like, there's still things about it that just scream Keaton. Like, if you look at it, maybe to an untrained eye who doesn't know the differences between all the Keaton's cows, they would probably just look at this and be like, oh, that's that Batman from the 92 and the 89. I, I grew up with that. Like, he was able to... He was able to capture Keaton in an original design, and it's incredible. So that's my review of this thing. I give it 5 out of 5, obviously. Probably like the most quality piece I've had in a really long time. Like this thing feels like it came from like the vault somewhere, like it just feels quality. It, like, the smoothness of it and, like, how thick it is and how, like, the inside is just, like, perfect and there's no pooling or thick spots or indents. Like, it just feels quality. It feels like something made for the movies. And I know that Jeff has, like, posted a few things on his Instagram. Like, when the Gotham suit was revealed, he's like, you know, if you guys just reached out to me, I could have made you something better. And, like... He adamantly posts on his Instagram, like, let me take a swing at some of these, some of these flops in Hollywood. And, like, I mean, the guy deserves it. Like, look at this. Look at this. This is incredible. This looks like Batman, like, in real life. Like, this, this I could see on the big screen. It's that quality. But there we go, guys. That's going to do it for the video of the evil genius Batman cowl. This one is referred to as the Keaton Crisis Cowl. So if you're after this particular one, go hit up Jeff's Instagram, um, Evil Genius Studio, and ask him about the Keaton Crisis Cowl. Say that Jaden from Edge Designs sent you. Um, just show this guy the attention he deserves. He is a very talented artist, and I am over the moon with this piece and i'm over the moon at how i was able to acquire this piece so never leaving the collection it's just incredible peace out be good people